Love Bio. What's up, water babies? What's poppin'? What's going on in the life of a Scorpio between now and the 31st of December? Hmm? Hmm? Stability, harmony, completions of cycles, vulnerability, infinite. All them eights is following y'all. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Oka. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out. I cuss. Right, so if cussing doesn't work for you, please feel free to find another um, beautiful reader on YouTube. And I don't love you any less. In fact, I love you a long time. All right? To all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family. We are dysfunctional. We don't fight and fuss. We cuss. We share. We grow. We evolve. We enlighten. We love one another. All right? This will be from um, today, the 24th, uh, to the 31st of December. Merry Christmas, you guys. Um, I pray that all of you guys have a safe and happy holiday season and that your hearts really, really are filled with love and joy and that you get everything that your true heart desires, okay? So um, this will be from my Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Scorpio, okay? Um this is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description. You guys, I'm taking a break in January. I will only be doing January monthlies, as well as every now and then I'll open up and do emergency readings only, and there is a price difference from an emergency reading and a regular reading. I'm probably going to do three max readings in January a day so, so that I can actually expand in other endeavors. Um, Got to grow, y'all. Got to grow other, other shit popping, okay? So um, if you do need that personal, hit me up, all right? So without further ado, let's rock it. Okay, I did for you guys an angel message, an uh, angel message, um, so that we will, well, we will get to those pretty much at the end of the reading. All right. So spirit, you show me what it is that you need to know. What it is I need to see for my lovely water babies. To my returning subscribers, family, we have pushed through, y'all. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. I've read every one, y'all. I would not be able. Thank you for allowing me to share my light, my love with you all. This has been quite the year, but very, very, very expansive as far as, you know, what lessons that it did bring in. And um, Scorpio, changes to it. Changes to it all the time. I'm hearing changes. Ugh. All right. Yeah, some of you all, yeah, it's funny, I said expand, expansion, you're on the brink of expansion, okay, you're releasing yourself, all right, from those self, from, I feel, honestly, from this self-imposed prison, it's like, Scorpio, you've allowed people to tie your wings up, and during this time, you're coming with nothing but the truth, truth is coming to set you free, all right, truth and clarity, and divine intervention is coming to set you free from toxic situations and people that has been preventing you to preventing you from expanding. Okay, yeah. For some of you all, Lady Luck is on your side. For some of you all, um, where the number seven has been following you all over, I feel that there is some type of expansion um, coming to your abundance during this time. Some of you all are just really needing to take a risk, take a leap of faith, and actually be a, be not afraid to move forward because. Miracles can happen, okay? For some of you all, I am hearing um, cash out, cash out. Okay, so if you've been feeling to go to the casino, this may be a month where Scorpio, you guys will be very lucky monetarily, all right? But it's going to come as a form of expansion, like a catapulting to expanding, all right? So if you need, knowing that you need to, need to leave a toxic situation, it's not about you being afraid to make that move, just trusting that God is going to do God's job in order for you to make that move, baby, because great abundance is on your side as a reward when you release yourself from something or someone. I feel like for some of you all, <laughs> some of you all is from some type of soul connection. I feel that, Scorpio, you've had enough. I feel that you feel ultimately drained. I feel you've been, you feel that you've been pulled each and every which way. And I feel that you're really ready to take the mask off during this time. Some of you all are creative. Some of you guys are artists. Some of you guys are writers. Some of you all have um, connection to um, water goddesses. Or some of you guys are water goddesses or have connection to some type of um, air goddess. Some of you guys are also tied to some form of comedics as well. But there's this harmony taking place. Okay, and for some of you all, 
it could have to do um, possibly with the Pisces person. I see that here. Damn light, it sucks, but Pisces symbol. So I feel like there's this healing taking place. There's this healing as well as harmony taking place within the self. Harmony within the self, three and three. But there's a need to change the way you once saw, the, the way that you once looked at yourself. Change the way that you wanted others to see you again. It's a removing of the mass happening, bringing the great ultimate change because it's also going to reign in and bestow upon you the spirit of acceptance and allowance. And for some of you all, also going to push you towards. Your life purpose. For some of you all, you're creators, you're songwriters, you're painters, you're artists, you're models. You are, and I feel that there has been something keeping you bounded or stuck from truly, truly, truly fulfilling your dreams and being happy. And it's going to come with a change in perspective, the way that you see things, the way that you've been taught to see things based on past experiences. There's a need to release your inner goddess. Some of you guys have a connection with fairies as well. But spirit is infinitely moving you forward, okay? And again, this eight and four, all right? Again, that's being the number 12, three. It's threes and sixes all over your reading. There's definitely needing to be some type of expansion. I feel an understanding perception. As well as, for some of you all, financially instability. And I feel that changes are coming extremely fast. And during this time, a lot of you all are really just needing to embrace the change and not go against it or try to resist it because it's infinite. And it's taking you to new pastures if you choose to not be fearful of being vulnerable and being walking in your true self and knowing that you are protected on this journey. All right. So that's what I got for you guys. Spiritual message. One second. Something else. Your message. Do you have for my girlfriends in love? What message do you have for my Scorpios in love between now and the end of December? What can they expect in love? Show me. Thank you. For some of you all, there's stability, okay? For some of you all, you're reconciling some, you could be reconciling with family, okay? Or, and yes, yeah, Christmas time, okay? So some of you guys could be reconciling with family or could be coming together with family. And I feel that you're internally conflicted about it because for some of you all, um, there has been like no no communication. I feel someone hasn't been able to sleep because they've been worried about possibly a son. This could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, okay? Or someone could actually, there could be a focus on a family that, and really, if we want to move forward and not with this shit, okay, do I want to keep putting my efforts into this? You guys have truly been in your head about moving towards something or moving away from something. This could definitely have to do with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, I feel like you've been wanting to manifest this, okay? For some of you all, you could be moving away from drinking. There's a need I'm hearing detox. Some of you guys really need to detox, all right? And some of you guys could also, you've been wishing and manifesting to move away to go in this period of solitude, to be alone. And I feel like a lot of you all during this time are definitely trusting your intuition when it comes to dealing with a Virgo, all right? Or when it comes to being in solitude away from a fire sign. Yeah, this could have to do, some of you guys could also be getting truth and clarity regarding a third party situation, all right? Or regarding some type of reconciliation. If you're dealing with the water sign, um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you could find another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. You could find out that this person has you in the third party, possibly with the Leo. Some of you guys could also be moving away from Scorpio. Someone could be moving away from you due to a third party. Someone could be finding out that someone had, someone could have gotten someone pregnant. Some of you all are going to be, yeah, shit's definitely going to hit the fan regarding a third party situation that could involve a water sign and a Leo, as well as a child. This water sign could be a um, Pisces person here with the moon card. It could also be another Scorpio like yourself. Okay? 
this could also involve um a Sagittarian person as well. There is some truth and clarity and something being revealed here during this time that's going to cause a major transformation for yourself as well as others within your energy, Scorpio. And I feel like this has been a major blockage um, for quite some time, to be honest. Yeah. And I feel that someone's indecisive about moving forward. For those of you who are dealing with air signs, I feel that you guys have really like you one of you guys wants to work on it okay someone wants a new beginning okay where the, where the other person is focused on money okay i feel like this is you scorpio focused on your stability and focused on some of you guys are entrepreneurs focusing on some type of business endeavor as well focusing on family okay and structure some of you guys who are dealing with the air sign this person could be internally conflicted about moving forward okay some of you all it could have to do with a third party situation some of y'all, I'm not going to lie, some of y'all dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, some of y'all going to find out that this person has a whole nother life. Like, they went and set up shop elsewhere. They had to choose between you and another person. And this, can, this other person could be a Leo or a Virgo. Okay? For some of you all, you could have a, um, a child with a Leo or a Virgo, possibly out of a third-party situation. For some of you all are waiting on some type of truth to be revealed around that. Oh, and you're going to get it. Some of you guys could have been fighting with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, someone. Um, this could be um, your children. This could also be someone who you have children with. In order to balance things, bring balance and harmony back to a situation, okay? Maybe someone's internally fighting themselves, okay, on how to make a new approach or come to you and offer this newness. Because I definitely see a fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, there's also a Virgo energy that wants to come towards you guys, possibly after you're moving away from them. I feel like you are this person's, you this person's manifestation, but they're your damn headache because for some of you all, this person drinks too damn much. I feel like someone definitely can't control their liquor. Some of you guys are also in, in verbally abusive relationships where someone has been like talking down at you. Maybe you haven't left because you were trying to save your money or trying to build a solid foundation elsewhere but i feel like this person definitely mirrors you be ready for anything scorpio because i feel like what your plans were some of y'all could be finding out somebody i already beat you to the punch this could be a capricorn towards virgo but there's this feeling of not being good enough or being a fear of being rejected or a fear of being vulnerable or opening up your heart to allow this newness to come in it but it's going to cause you to walk away from something else don't worry for those of you who have financial fears for what for what there's definitely going to be some type of creative endeavor whatever it is that you've been putting your hard work and effort effort into whatever it is that you've used to turn your pain into power where you've sown your seeds you will be blessed so lack not Please do not even speak, think, or act of lack, okay? So let's get a few clarifiers. All right. Three minutes clarifiers. The major arcana. Why is the sun here with the ace of pentacles spirit? Yeah. For some of you all, maybe you want to reconcile with someone. You want to bring stability back to a family situation, okay? You want some material, that's what you've been trying to manifest, but it's going to need for someone to communicate honestly and openly and stop all the damn fighting. Some of you guys, okay, this could possibly cause an uproar with a fire sign, or some of you guys could be internally conflicted by a fire sign. Or this could be a fire sign that you're uniting with. I'm hearing Leo, but I also see Sag here. I also be Aries. Why is the high priestess here? Why is the high priestess here? Yeah, but some of you all, some of you all intuitively um, know that either you or another person has a lot of options. I just feel like someone is just truly sitting on it. You know, everybody's keeping their feelings close to their chest. I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with someone who is intuitive, okay? Some of y'all could also be dealing with a Virgo that has a bunch of options, and I feel like you're really not wanting to commit to the relationship or give to it because I feel like there's this fear of being hurt or played, like, 
But there's definitely some of y'all intuitively know that uh, this Virgo person could be having this is somebody who's very intuitive. Some of y'all are very prophetic by the dream. Some of you guys are dreamers. Some of you all are having dreams possibly of um, this person possibly making an offer elsewhere or receiving an offer from elsewhere. And so the truth and clarity about that third party situation is going to be the catalyst situation to allow you to actually move on from someone, okay? There's definitely something being revealed because you got a divine partnership to be at. Okay, this could have to do with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This reconciliation, both parties then went through a transformation. But some of you all is reconciling, okay? Starting something new and fresh with the Sagittarius person. After walking away from something else, not being afraid to release yourself from toxicity, toxic places, people, places, things, or toxic thoughts around, or releasing yourself from the vibration of what happened in the past. Well, in the past, this happened and this happened. Take the experience, okay? Take the lesson and take the wisdom that it brought you. Take the endurance that it brought you, okay? And move forward. And allow God to do God's job, honey. Why the strength card here? Yeah. For some of you all, okay, strength and pushing forward after walking away from a marriage for some of y'all. Some of y'all, you could be dealing with an air sign that's possibly moving, aw uh, moving away. For some of you all, it's possibly a Leo. But someone is definitely uh, moving towards marriage or moving away from it. And I see this is more of a letting go to invite something new in. Some of you guys there, yeah, there will be secrets revealed. Okay, this could have to do, again, with that water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, regarding the third party situation. I feel that you've been patiently waiting to really get truth and clarity on it, and it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. For some of you all, some of y'all actually may be finding out that you're pregnant as well. Congratulations, boo. I'm up to them kids. Yeah. But the death card, moving away. This could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius moving away. To possibly a twin flame relationship, okay? Or you guys moving away to a twin flame relationship or some type of soulmate partnership, some divine, divinely guided union, okay? After dropping a burdensome situation that intuitively you knew it was time to move on from, all right? Accept spirit's help during this time. Let me pull your angel messages for you. I have spiritual understanding. Both of your messages come from Archangel Raziel, okay? So you guys may want to call on Archangel Raziel to assist you in releasing your situations, okay? And, and keeping your peace as well as healing you and helping to heal emotionally and heal your understanding to know what to do next so that you don't be in that place of fear, doubt, and lack because you can no longer live there, Scorpio. So the first part that you got is spiritual understanding. I am bringing to you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truth so you see this it's so like pure alchemy some of you guys may be seeing white doves it's funny because i seen about 40 of them this morning weirdest shit ever i was doing libra in fact if you connected with the libra them white birds and synchronicities look go watch libra video because i literally seen about 30 of them so many white birds but things are aligning for you okay so that you to assist you in truly truly living in your truth of alchemy alchemy and esoteric and being really being and, and being in tune with being the high priestess that divine all-knowing and trusting yourself okay in order to receive to in the future uh, help others the next message says take back your power archangel raziel use your god-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life Okay, so you're needing that spiritual understanding and be receptive to that spiritual understanding to take back your power, to understand how to turn your pain into power by putting that intention in whatever it is that you're believing to manifest that and truly see it as above, so below. You are fixed, but it's going to require change. The Scorpios, y'all got to be open to it and trust your intuition. Don't think too much into the subject. Just allow God to be God. Guard your energy. Keep your peace, babies. I love you all so very much. This is what I have for you between now and the end of December. If, again, if you need that personal reading, please 
um, hit me up. That information is in the description. I'm going to be working every day for Christmas. So y'all hit me up. And I love you very, very, very much, y'all. Thank you so much. Much love, much light. Again, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Happy New Year. Turn up, turn up. I will see you guys in 2019. I love you much. Bye, y'all.